Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of a new series where we will be putting together the Phoenix model 20cc 67 68 inch wingspan zero from Tower Hobbies here in the United States. I ordered this plane back in November with the expectations that it would be shipping around February or March and with all the supply chain problems, it didn't get delivered until August of this year, but now I have it and I'd like to share it with you. Uh, so this episode is going to be unboxing, showing how this comes in the mail, how this ARF is packaged inside the box and everything that comes with it, along with a bunch of close-up pictures. So you get to see uh, this covering, this printed on covering, and hopefully get some more information. In fact, on the Tower Hobbies website for the product page for this model, one of the reviews kind of talks about how there's just not a lot of information about this model out there. So hopefully this video helps with that. Before we open the box, we are going to head down to Dayton, Ohio, to the National Museum of the United States Air Force, because in the World War II hangar, there is a TAN-0. It's a Model 21 A6M2. So for each episode in the series, we're going to go back to Dayton. We're gonna zoom in on the respective parts of the zero that we're working on in the build series for the model, and we're gonna throw in some history here and there. So without further ado, let's head down to Dayton, check out the real zero, and then we'll get this box open. just showing some shots of the box before I opened it and here we go with it opened and wanted to show you how everything is individually wrapped now the Gilmore Red Lion was packed amazing and if if I were to give that an A I would probably say this is an A minus or a B plus very well just not as thorough but everything is individually wrapped and very nice and as we unwrap things you'll see that most of the stuff is wrapped twice. And also, if you're new to ARFs, always pay attention to what is taped to the side of the box. And that's why I wanted to do this shot right here to show that you see the CG balance tool, all the push rods and the wing spar is taped to the side of the box. Do not throw that away. Here is the box from the other side, just to show you, you can see the, the cowling in the front corner there, we see the fuselage underneath and the two wings, and then on top is a very nice instruction manual. So let's get out the wings first, and it is double wrapped, and we will speed through a lot of the me unwrapping things, but I wanted to keep the, the wrapping, unwrapping in the video because I just wanted to show you that. It's not just one layer of cellophane. Uh, a lot of the stuff is double wrapped and very well done. And in fact, with the wings, there is a piece of of bubble wrap right there over the the flap hinges. And when we see these flap hinges, you'll you'll understand why. But I always like ripping this this thin this thin foam sheeting. But you can see we'll take the wing out. It is this nice printed covering, a dirty silver. We can talk more about the actual color, but wanted to show you these flap hinges. It's like 90 degree pin hinges. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't, I've never used these on a model before, so that'd be kind of cool. But uh, we, do, we do get some nice articulation. And again, this is me unwrapping it for the first time. I'm kind of playing around with it and seeing 
how things are. Now, the one thing that I noticed, and I'm gonna speed this up, I usually, from the factory, either the pin hinges are glued already or they're not. And from everything I can tell, they're not supposed to be glued, but these were really hard to get off and to the point where I thought maybe they were glued and not glued very well. And I think it's, I'm, I am going to explain it by those pin hinges. I think there was some flashing from the injection molding process that kind of really made them stick in there very well. So um, they do come out. Here I wanted to show you the wing tip. There is a place for some navigation lights. And so one of the steps is to put a, a cover on that. And here is the view of the flap from the rear and to see how that flap servo is recessed and the push rod is actually through the wing. It's kind of neat. And when we get to mounting that, we'll see We'll see how that works out pretty nicely. But uh, it looks, uh, looks kind of weird at first, but I've actually installed them already and uh, they work pretty well. So here's the top and let's move on. So here's the cowling. And the first thing we notice as we pull this off, there is a piece of tape on that little intake right there. You see me taking off, so just don't go ripping away. But there are some items inside the cowling and we'll take these out. This are the wingtip nav light cover. You'll have to cut that in half. That is the, the gear strut covers, the antenna, the exhaust stacks. We can talk more about those. And then the nice tail wheel. The engine mounting, motor mounts. And here, the first thing we notice is that there is that intake on the top of the cowl. That means this uh, model is at least an A6M3. And because we see those cool uh, stacks, exhaust stacks, that means that this model is actually of a A6M5. But we'll talk more about that. So here's the next uh, container here. We have some hardware for the flaps. We have the gas tank nozzle and plug some plastic pieces. I'm not sure. I think those are engine mounting uh, pieces, but then we have the wheels and the nose cone and the motor mount plates, engine mount plates, and some more motor mount stuff. And this is important. These are the flap push rods. Do not lose those. They're in a little bag, not with the rest of the push rods and aileron hardware, but those little, um, I think they're three by 40 millimeter push rods. You need those for the flaps. So we'll go on to the drop fuel tank and speed through this. It's pretty, it's pretty plain, but it's nicely painted, nice and solid. So that's gonna go in between the wings on the bottom. Really nice. Next are the retracts. Now this is cool. I can't believe Tower is not have this on the front page saying, hey, it comes with these really nice retracts and retract unit, but they do, and that's part of the reason why I bought this ARF, and in fact, I bought a second one just to have. But uh, we'll zoom in. Here's the control box, and it comes with this little, uh, really small, what was that an EC3? Really small connector, that's pretty cool, but it gives you the, the wire and the other connector to power this thing, which is a nice close-up. We'll talk more about that when we get to the retracks, but just wanted to show you this nice retract controller module that it comes with. And then we'll go ahead and unwrap the retracts themselves. Now these are full electric retracts, supposed to be run on 2S LiPo, so 7.4 volts. Nicely individually wrapped. You see the bubble wrap inside the box and each one of these are individually wrapped. Now these are pretty nice. Now, they do look nice, they're nice and big, but th the light gray portions that is a hard plastic. So that is, I don't know if that's 3D printed, but um, they're nice and big and sturdy and uh, the, the struts are actually functioning, but just be aware that those light gray pieces are a really nice thick plastic. But other than that, and I don't know if that's a bad thing, but these look really nice, nice thick wires. I'm really happy. Th these electric retracts are pretty much the biggest reason why I ordered this plane. So worst case plane crashes or something, I have a nice set of retracts I can use. So just wanted to get a lot of good close-ups of these retracts because these come with it. 
we won't open up the other one, but here's a close up of those retracts. And you can see the pieces that I'm talking about are plastic. Um, I don't want it to sound like it's terrible. Uh, they, it seems pretty sturdy, but I just wanted to show you that those parts are plastic. All right, really quick. These are the wheel wells. We will trim these out and put these in the retract bays. Nothing too exciting here. This piece, uh, this group of, uh, this group of equipment, this is the CG tool and we'll talk more about this. There's four pieces here to help with the CG. In fact, it comes with some cord and that little aluminum tube there that is to hold up the plane when you're testing for CG. So pretty cool stuff. Here is the main wing tube and all of the push rods. And then we have the dummy engine and we'll open this up really quick. I really enjoyed painting the dummy engine on my Gilmore red line. So now that I got a little bit of experience, uh, maybe I can do take this one up a notch. Who knows? We'll see. I'm not sure what that round piece is. I haven't read that far in the instructions, so we'll get to it. But there is the dummy radial and should look nice. Finally, the fuselage. The whole thing is loosely wrapped in bubble wrap and then double wrapped with first that outer cellophane that I'm ripping off right now and then this thin foam styrofoam wrap that is just satisfying to rip open. So we'll pull that off and here it is looks pretty nice uh, you know there's some talk about okay the, the the canopy plastic doesn't match with the rivets uh on the painted covering that's you know that's take it or leave it that's you know some people don't like that pilot kind of looks cartoonish i kind of like it and i think i'm going to keep it but we'll talk more about that later here's the underside where the servos will go we can see the front, the motor, it's nice and painted already. So let's go ahead and take this hatch off. Some people, this really makes a difference. You know, I am not going to compete this in a scale competition. You know, this is not going to top gun. So I'm, the cockpit detail is nice. It doesn't sell me on the plane. Uh, it does look cool. Uh, a lot of people are, are, are trying to take off that plastic on top that try to gives it that 3D aspect. Some people don't like that, but um, you know, it, it doesn't, it's cool to me. It doesn't break it or make it for me, but uh, looks nice. I'm happy with it. Some people are gonna replace the pilot and that's fine. I think I'm gonna leave it. So there's the inside a big, hatch for your batteries i'm checking this out always gotta stick your head in there get that new arf balsa smell you guys know what i'm talking about so hatch goes back on there have been some reports about once you get the cowl mounted it's hard to put that hatch on we will investigate that when the time comes here's what i wanted to show you this is pretty cool there is a pressure fit hatch for the tailwheel look and it has its own little spring and it pops off and there's your tailwheel mechanism so that is that's really cool a lot of times a lot of zeros the rear end is formed plastic and it's it's kind of hit or miss to get that on right but you can see the whole rear end all the way to the back is built up the spot around the tail wheel, it's, it's really nice. So I'm really happy with this so far. Really, um, really excited for a nice 67 inch 20 CC zero. And guys, thanks for watching the unboxing video. We will be back with the wings, the ailerons, the flaps and the retracts. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. <laughs>